everyone and welcome back to my kitchen here in Galveston, Texas. I'm Amanda Hancock and this week we are working on entrees. Now, living on the coast of Texas, you would think I would do something, a beautiful seafood dish with a nice Philly cream cheese sauce, but my kitchen told me that it's had enough seafood because a couple years ago it was three feet underwater in Hurricane Ike, so we're going to be doing some country-fied food today. As a country girl, I love my chicken fried steak, my mashed potatoes, my gravy, so today we're going to do a chicken fry, but we're going to do a chicken fried chicken, and this is not your Grammy's chicken fried chicken. This is a completely new twist for a new generation, and it's got chicken fried chicken. Yum. And it has a gravy on it that is not so much a gravy as a nutritious topping that has a secret ingredient that I think you're going to love. So let's go over to the ingredients and take a look at what we're going to need to make chicken fried chicken with Philly collard greens. And as you can see, I already have my bacon going here. So we're just going to dump that chopped cauliflower into our pan. just cut the head of cauliflower into florets. You're going to dump enough chicken broth in there to cover it. So it's going to take probably about a half a box of chicken broth. So uh, two regular cans, 16 ounces. You want to make sure that the cauliflower is covered because we're going to boil that and get it nice and soft so we can blend that into a beautiful velvety collie cream with Philadelphia cream cheese. Oh my God. Four halves. On my monkey plate. Y'all like my monkey plate? <laughs> I have a two-year-old, so I have a lot of monkey plates and dinosaur plates. But we just roll with it. Alright, so what we're going to do is pound out these chicken breasts. So I'm going to put each half between wax paper and then whack it. And you can do this with a mallet. Get your frustrations out. You don't have to go to the gym. It's great. And you know, I started this recipe... Actually, this uh, dish got its inspiration. It started as a side dish. I wanted to do a healthier version of mashed potatoes. My, um, I had been trying to follow a low-carb diet, so I wanted to do a variation on a mashed potato that I'd heard about. And so I did this uh, creamy mashed potato with cream cheese and butter. And I mean, I was on a diet, but I put cream cheese and butter in it. So it was kind of uh, runny. So my best girlfriend, she is a culinary genius herself, she uh, suggested, she, that she, I took some of that to her, and she said, you know what I did with it? I put it over some chicken. And she really is uh, conscious of what she eats, so she put it over some grilled chicken or baked chicken, which you can actually do with this, but like I said, I'm a country girl, and I like things fried. I like a good chicken fry. And this I've got a half a cup of buttermilk with one egg and about a third a cup of water here that I beat together. And then I have um, about a cup of flour. So you're going to want to season that flour really well. My salt is kind of stuck because it's humid down here, so it's not coming out. You'll just want about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt, depending on how salty you like things. You want some black pepper. Fresh ground, I think, is always best, but if you've got some just regular pepper on hand, use that. You want about a half a teaspoon of that, too, in here. And you can always adjust these seasonings to taste. It depends on how spicy you like things. We like them really flavored and spicy here in Texas. So, I've also got some ground thyme I'm going to throw in there. Thyme is really good. goes with chicken really well. It's got kind of a lemony flavor. It tastes good on fried foods. I've also got some paprika for a little color. You want about uh, a quarter to a half a teaspoon of each of those. And then I've got a little extra fancy cayenne pepper. We're going to add just a little dash of that just to add something interesting to our dish. So then you just want to dip each uh, cutlet into your egg and buttermilk mixture and then dip it in the flour like so. I'm going to come over here to our fryer and my fryer is actually a fondue pot. <laughs> I met my husband at a fondue restaurant so as a joke for our wedding some of our friends got us a fondue pot and I'll tell you this has been the most useful little gadget that we got <laughs> even though it was just for a joke. So I've set the oil. I have some vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil that you want. 
but I've got a vegetable canola blend here uh, that I've put in about halfway up the pot. So I've heated it here to about 350 degrees. And I'm just going to drop these chicken cutlets into the oil and let those go until they're a nice golden brown and done throughout. We're going to reserve about a half a cup of liquid just in case we need a little more. I grabbed a baby spoon. I have a monkey plate and a baby spoon. The first things that I grab. Let me grab a real utensil. And we're going to put this cauliflower, cauliflower in the blender. You can use a food processor too, but I lost my food processor in the hurricane. I know I keep saying that, but I'm still angry. It's been almost three years. You'd think I'd be over it by now. We're just gonna dump that right into my blender so we can blend that into a beautiful cream. This is a teaspoon of crushed garlic, so that means that's two cloves of garlic if you're doing it the old-fashioned way. So we're gonna just take that and blend it right up. So we finished blending up the cauliflower and the garlic together. We're just going to put that into a bowl. To this, we're going to add our Philadelphia cream cheese, the chive and onion, like I showed you earlier. And we're going to use a half a cup. So we're going to go ahead and just plop that in there. It's going to make this nice and creamy, velvety, silky, and just delicious. We're also going to crumble in four pieces of cooked center cut bacon. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper. Cause just like with everything, you wanna flavor every layer. You wanna get your seasonings in every layer so that you don't have bland dishes out there. Nothing worse than an under seasoned dish. Now just to add another bit of creaminess, we're also gonna add a little bit of butter. Cream cheese and butter. What gets better than that? I don't think anything. I think you can just send me to heaven. I just keep mixing that delicious holly cream around. Oh, it looks so good. I have to taste it just one. Mm. Oh, man. That is so good. It tastes just like gravy, y'all. It's got the bacon in there for the smokiness. It's got that cream chive, I can't even talk. It's got onion and crap chive cream cheese. It's got salt and pepper. It's seasoned perfectly. It's got a little bit of butter. We're just gonna go ahead and take them out. They're nice and beautiful golden brown. I'm gonna get those out. My fondue pot. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this thing is really useful. Fondue pot ain't just for chocolate anymore, I'm telling you. All right, so we're gonna bring, take some spoonfuls of this and spoon it right over the chicken fritters. Look how beautiful that is. That's just the perfect gravy, cream, creamy consistency. So delicious. We're just gonna cover those with the Philly Collie Cream. Just gorgeous. And then the piece de la resistance. We will top it with a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. It's going to go on just like that. You can leave the cheese off if you want to. You don't have to add the cheese, but it adds just another dimension of flavor, another bit of appeal to the plate. And I'll show you what it looks like here in the middle. Take a little bit. We'll take an edge here. Oh yeah, that chicken is nice and moist. The collie cream is hot. Oh yeah, oh, that is good. Mmm, oh man, those flavors. They punch you in the mouth almost. They hit the back of your tongue, the smokiness, the spices, just delicious. That is definitely not my Grammy's chicken fry. This has been Amanda Hancock here in my kitchen in Galveston, Texas, signing off, and we'll see you all soon.